Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me Subservience. And this 2024 film was directed by S.K. Dale and stars Megan Fox, Michael Marone, and Madeline Zima, among others, of course. The story of this movie takes place in a world where they have android servants and stuff like that. And with this one, it is about this father and his family and the mother, I think, has cancer or something. So he can't just take care of the children himself. So they buy one of these androids and it turns out to be Megan Fox. And then Megan Fox decides that what's best for the family is for her to, you know, start having a romantic relationship with the father and, you know, take over the family. So what will happen? Will she be able to do that? Well, for that, you gotta watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, with this one, ultimately, it's a pretty kind of just standard movie. There has been kind of a string of these movies where it's about, you know, a robot coming home and helping the family and then, you know, starts to turn murderous. They certainly had Megan. That I think was probably the most popular one, but there's other ones out there. The prototype, I think I've seen and a few others, of course. But with this one, it's just like that other movie, Megan, but with Megan Fox in this one. And it does have some interesting kind of set pieces here or there so while watching it i certainly found myself thinking oh yeah this is a cool scene and then you know 20 minutes later oh that's a cool scene and so it does have kind of these cool elements to it i did enjoy kind of what actually you know starts her down her murderous path like what in her program kind of goes wrong and i thought that was a little bit clever and so with this movie you know throughout it there's certainly moments that you do enjoy and so yeah it's perfectly a fine movie to watch also, Megan Fox is in this one, and I just enjoy watching Megan Fox. I know she's not the best actress out there, but I don't think she necessarily needs to be with playing this part as a robot. I w did <laughs> just like seeing her, I guess, you know, was watch Pretty People. Why not? Um, better than looking in the mirror, I guess. And yeah, that certainly is a plus. In addition, this movie has this wintry setting. I think this movie was filmed in Bulgaria or something like that. And so it has this kind of snow on the ground everything's kind of cold and dreary and dull and certainly adds kind of a tone or atmosphere to it that i kind of think works with it like you know robots are supposed to be emotionless and stuff like that and then it's mirrored in kind of the whole setting and you know the time of year and whatnot so that i think personally adds to kind of the roboticness of it all so that certainly did work and that brings me to what doesn't work with this movie well, because there's other, you know, take a robot home movies out there, this one goes exactly as you expect it to. There is nothing surprising about this movie at all. So everything that you think will happen, happens, and in the manner that you imagine it will happen. So it really just kind of takes away from the movie where, you know, you've seen it before, you've, you can guess what's going on, and ultimately, no surprises. So yeah, that certainly is an issue. Other than that, with this movie, the acting isn't particularly good. It's serviceable, I guess, but I guess they're supposed to be robots, and so you're not supposed to show a lot of emotion if you're an emotionless robot. But then that also is true for the human characters, so like nobody's doing a particularly great job. And that just makes it for a very kind of like blase movie, you know, where it's just like going through the motions. So would I recommend this movie? I would say really it's up to you. How much do you want to see Megan Fox? Because the rest of the movie is very standard and is very kind of just stuff you've seen before, just with Megan Fox. So if that's what you're going for, sure, why not? But other than that, I would say this movie is probably skippable. As for a rating, well, I'm gonna give it the score of four because it was just pretty okay. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out.